Remy. Remy, let's go cook let's, some let's, ratatouille, let me just Remy. Set, check. Yeah. Yes, this is the right one. Oh. Right. Meet with Remy. Yeah. Bing bong. Oh, that must be him. This voice again. Ha! <laughs> what? <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Why is he? <laughs> Why does he have lipstick? Oh my god! Holy shit! Okay, carry on. <laughs> Remy, what's that on your face? Don't you know what it is? Well, it looks like lipstick, but. I didn't know that was a thing here. You're right, it is lipstick. It's not something that existed in this world before, though. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, he's made lipstick and thinks men use it. <laughs> How did you get some, then? I have one of your PDAs, remember? <laughs> I studied it a bit and came across the entry on lipstick. Based on the necessary ingredients, I realized I could make some myself, and so I did. Did you do this to look pretty for me? <laughs> I figured you'd miss these kind of things. Things that are normal for you. Uh, it hasn't really been normal back home in quite a while. <laughs> Lipstick isn't common these days, and <laughs> you look weird. <laughs> d d d didn't the entry specify that it's typically used by females? Now that you mentioned it, I did get that impression, but I found it's the sentiment a bit puzzling. Why would a product like this only be used by one gender? Well, I guess social norms dictated that certain traits are only desirable in one gender. Thus, highlighting them like this would increase the attractiveness. Oh, uh, I think I get it now. It's all based on sexual dimorphism. Yes! The biological differences between the sexes are much greater in your species than it is in ours. So I suppose the traits you are looking for, look, you are looking for, can be different too. He, with that on, he he's pretty much fucking fits the stereotypical librarian look to a T. Yeah. <laughs> Shh. Generally speaking, sexual dimorphism is much greater in mammals than it is in reptiles. While it can bear <laughs> biology lesson. While it can vary wildly by species, external indicators are pretty much always present, like memories. For example, an always present, an often obvious reminder. Ah! Ah! Oh god, I sprayed with my yawn and it went on my arm! I hate that. This makes much more sense now, I'm kind of embarrassed. You should be. Should I get rid of it? <laughs> yes! Yes! Yeah, it doesn't really look nice on you. Oh, sorry. Here, that should do it. Shall we go then? Actually, it seems pretty early. They're probably still setting up. I see. Well, we could just stay here in the meantime. Oh, for sure. Adine is like the only person we've gone out of the apartment for in this scene. We haven't fucked her. Well, it was implied. Okay. We slept over hers after yeah. sh having a shower with yeah. her. Okay, carry on. We've we've got we've only got a little over half an hour. I just realised I haven't actually been here since I prepared the apartment for you. Have you read any of your books I got you? Oh, so you're the one who stopped the bookshelf. They are all library books. I wanted to provide you with a good sample of what we have to offer. There should be something in there for anyone. Looks like you've read a few of the Sheridan series. <laughs> I just wasn't... <laughs> well, they're not pretty interesting, are they? No. Usually I wouldn't read something like this, but sometimes I'm just not in the mood for anything more complex. Well, I understand. Everyone has their guilty pleasures. Can I offer you some food or drink? I've barely used any of the stuff in the kitchen. Why not? I didn't want to touch anything that didn't at least resemble something I know. All I 
I have no idea how to prepare them right, or even know if they are safe for me to eat. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea to get. You are those perishables, then. I wanted to provide you with a bit of everything, considering I had to prepare the apartment for someone I didn't really know much about. Oh, some of them were good. It's interesting to taste the subtle and sometimes not so subtle differences in the similar fruits we have back home. Did you throw anything out? N not really. Why'd you ask? You've been here for nearly two weeks now, so... Even if some of them were safe for you to eat, they probably aren't anymore. Let me clean out your closet. We don't want to have any health hazards for you here after all. Well, feel free. You know they have rentity dice from food poisoning. Just take a look at this! No. <laughs> you show me a juicy looking, vaguely spherical fruit whose bright red color was unlike any other fruit I had ever seen. That's a very bright red. I don't even think our best apples could compare. Well, they're usually blue. Red beans you're supposed to throw them away as they have expired, and then the toxins might have already set in. Oh, well, I wasn't planning on eating it anyway. Or this one, it's all moldy. I don't see any mold. Don't you see the spots? Sure, but if that's supposed to be mold, it looks very different from the mold we have back home. I see. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea to stock up on perishables. I didn't consider all the implications of doing something like this. Had you eaten the, the wrong thing, you could be in a hospital right now. Don't stress yourself about it. Honestly, someone would have, been, have to be pretty reckless to just go ahead and start munching on things they don't know about. If anyone was smart enough to be sent here, they probably wouldn't have taken a risk like that. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Nevertheless, I'm getting rid of everything that's past the state. We don't really want the mold in the air, either. If you say so. Once more, he dove into the closet. I heard him rummaging around as he checked the fruits and vegetables thoroughly. That should be everything. Thanks. Bet the wine didn't go bad, though. You want some? I'm not really a big fan of wine. How come? I just can't enjoy it as some others do, I, I suppose. I'm willing to try anything at least once, though. Anything? Well, at least as far as food and drinks are concerned. Uh... Can you render endo on your pants? Well, this is wine. Alright. We're talking... Does it say anything about wine? I don't know. Well, check! You've got it right open. Nothing? Nothing. Well, let's just say I'm not a fan either. Yeah. I'm not a fan either, so I guess we don't need to waste a good bottle of wine by opening it. I'm not sure if this would qualify as a good bottle. Don't tell me you just went for the cheapest one. <sighs> of course not. Everyone knows that you don't buy the cheapest stuff. You go for the second cheapest. Oh, well. Well, just look at the time. I think we could start heading to the festival now. We've like been here five minutes, Remy. Sure, let's go. Okay, we actually left the apartment. It's strange. Usually there's a crowd by now. Do you think they cancelled it? Rez is still being out there. Maybe they thought it wasn't such a good idea to have a public spectacle like this. Cancel the summer festival? <laughs> Inconceivable! Doesn't really look like a festival is going on right now, though. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I think I know this guy. Let's go and ask him. Uh -huh. Okay, he's in his store clothing, so he has to be depressed. Hey, horny. How can I help you? We were just planning to go to the festival, but it doesn't seem like there's much going on here yet. Oh, you came to the right place, but the festival is not starting for another hour, at least. What? But the festival has always started at this time. You must have missed the memo then. We moved it by an hour. Something about the daylight making the fireworks more visible as a result. Well, that's a shame. And I'm kind of getting hungry, too. I'm hungry! I can help you with that. I guess. What are you selling? 
Skewers, meatballs, donuts, humans like those, right? All kinds of grilled things, really. Plums! Well, I could go for some meatballs. How about you? Uh. Go on. Meatball. No problem. Just let me pat this up for you. That's how somebody see me at the ball. I guess this makes up for your first customers of the day. What do I owe you? For you two, it's free. Oh, you. It's not a good business practice, but I can't really muster the coverage to ask. <laughs> it's a problem. My store's kind of going under. Sorry, what was that? It's very kind of you, thank you. Have fun at the festival. I know I won't. Thanks. K- kind of a buzzkill, though. Mr. Buzzkill. So what do we do now? Should we go back? Well, we've already here and got all this stuff. Let's just sit down somewhere. Sure. We went off to the side as more dragons arrived and started setting up their various booths. Now the meatballs. They're actually pretty good. How about your stuff? It's great. I'm surprised, honestly. You're reading you nev- the same thing! You never know with stuff that comes out of food carts. You're right. Maybe we got lucky. Or maybe it's because it's still fresh. Who knows? What was that about fireworks, though? Is the big show coming up later? Oh no, the festival's just getting started. There are fireworks every day, but the big show is the one that everyone wants to see. The one is happening in a few days. It uh, officially concludes the festivities. I see. A while later, the festival had kicked off, and the crowds were already coming in. Dragons of all shapes and colors filled the paths, ready to see the sights the festival had to offer. Booths lined up every side of the way. It reminded me a lot of a typical carnival setup, with the booths being filled with shops, food stands, games, and much more. Seems the festival's already started. Let's go. You know what? How about we just stay here? I, I really don't like crowds. I've seen the festival so many times already. I'd rather just stay here with you. I thought you wanted to show me around. I suppose we can just stay here if you prefer that. The main attraction is always the big fireworks show at the end of the festival. And that one is not going to happen today anyway. So... Why would we need to come in the first place, then? Something wrong? I just had to realize that as nice as it is right now, you'll have to leave this world again eventually. I've been alone for such a long time now, I I didn't even have a single friend. In my job, I always have to smile. When serving the customers, how could I be surrounded by people all the time? It feels so alone. All those people have their own lives, families, friends, and relationships. Yet I had none of that. In a world where everyone else seemed to be happy, I was the odd one out who had to pretend in order to belong. How could that not have eaten away at me day after day? Yet one day, I heard about the plans of the Hubis coming here. Like many others, I was excited at the prospect of our myths coming true. Then... The day came when Reza stepped through the portal. Amidst all the pomp and fanfare you can imagine, it was quite a sight to behold, really. You wouldn't believe how much joy I felt during that moment. Emma, of course, took all the limelight she could. First time there was a big speech in front of a huge crowd, then a procession after she had officially welcomed Reza. When it was the first time... For you to arrive, it was decided that it wouldn't be a public event this time due to security concerns. I knew that Emira wasn't going to be there if she wasn't able to make it all about herself. I begged her to let me do it, just to be able to get this close to a human at least once. I talked with them and to see what they were like, to experience them. She told me that if I did a few favors for her, I could be the one to greet you. I knew that she wasn't going to be there anyway, but if I, if I did do what she wanted, she would just send other, uh, some other lackey instead. 
So I did everything she asked for. I fucked her. <laughs> she didn't keep her word, though. And in the end, I was the one who would introduce you to this little world of ours. It might not have seemed like much to you, but with just the two... Uh, just us two and no one else being there. I was... It was something very special for me. It was not some public spectacle like the summer festival or Reza's arrival, but for the first time in so long, I felt like the moment was about you and me and no one else. For someone in my position, it just made me very happy to have such an extraordinary thing happen to me. Of course, I was very curious to see how much our myths would light up with reality, and I was even more overjoyed when you visited me in the library. When you accepted my invitation and came into my home, I was just glad to have you there. Music. Come back. There we go. It seemed like you wanted to be there and were just someone out to use me in some way. I began to feel hope. When I met you in the park, I think the only reason I could tell you everything about myself was because I knew you were going to leave again eventually. And now, after all of this, I could hardly believe you were still here for me. Why wouldn't I be? You're just so nice to me. Yet even after a, the time I've got to spend with you, it seems that soon I'll have to let you go again. At least I got to know you. Can't be all that bad. Ever since I came here, I've met plenty of lovely people, all with their own relationships, struggles, and dreams. I know you think you've been alone here all this time, but don't go back into that kind of thinking when I'm gone. Rather, why don't you take it as an opportunity? Now we're here, who's to say that you won't be able to find others once I'm gone? I know you're still stuck for a while because of your job, but after that, have you considered change of scenery? You could move to a different place, with all new people and opportunities. Who knows what you might find elsewhere? Completely new start? I like that idea. But enough about me. <laughs> what will you do once you get back to your world again? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't even know what will happen to me when I return. In these last few days, a lot of things have happened that have changed my perspective on what I'm doing here. Reza and those who sent me. Is it a bad thing? I don't know yet. Very least, though, I can say that I've done what I believed was right. You could be... You should be careful with rhetoric like that. What do you mean? That kind of talk makes it very easy to justify any means when it serves that right, the right cause. Whatever that may be, the more important thing is, have you done anything that you might regret? Yeah. No matter what you think, keep in mind that you may be held accountable for your actions by others or even yourself. Don't just do something because you think it is the, for the right reasons, do do it when you are aware of the possible consequences as well. You're right. I have no way of knowing what my actions here will amount to once I return. Do you really wish to go back to your old world? If I didn't, it would only serve to strain the relationship we've been trying to build with your people here, which is something that could be elementary for our survival. And besides, I didn't do it for those who would reign over the city back home or those who might have wanted to betray me. Let's not forget that even under the worst regimes, they're just normal people trying to survive, too. If I have the power to make a difference for them, what, would it be right for me to just leave them be in order to seek my own happiness? It's exactly the kind of thing you were talking about, right? In the end, we all have to make our own decisions. If I leave them behind, then I'd leave them to people like Reza and those who sent me here. What would you want to do? Overthrow them? I don't even have the complete picture myself right now. How would I even consider what to do, given what I know? What I do know, though, is that if I don't do what they expect of me, there will be consequences. Maybe you'll just have to wait and see. That's not an option right now. Reza is still out there, armed and dangerous. Don't you think that's a, that's a matter better left to our police force? It could be very dangerous for you to interfere. It's far too late to reconsider. I've already been tangled up in this too much. Besides, I can't stop now. Don't forget how many he has killed already. 
He won't hesitate to do so again in order to reach his goal. In the end, it's my duty to stop him. If I don't, how would your people look at humanity? How could I face you again, knowing that my negligence would could cause suffering and loss for others if I just if here if I just stop now? I wish I could be as brave as you. I don't think bravery has anything to do with it. He must be stopped one way or another. I know, just be careful, alright? I'll try. We've been here for a while now. How about I walk you back to your apartment? What about the festival? Well, if you still want to go, we could watch the big fireworks show together in a few days. That's an idea. Alright, let's do that. I watched Remy as he got up again, stretching himself in a way that reminded me of a cat before we prepared to leave again. Oh, you're still here. How's business? As expected. It's pretty bad. <laughs> People <laughs> always get hungry at these events eventually. They just go other places. Can I offer you some more meatballs? No thanks. I'm quite full from my earlier helping. How about you, Horny? A tempting offer. We're just about to call it a day. I see. No I money see. today, then. Ba, 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 ba. Are you going to watch your big fireworks at the end of the festival? That's the plan. Indeed. Be sure not to miss it. You haven't seen anything until you see the fireworks. Oh, goody. That's what everyone keeps telling me. Because it's true. Yuck, yuck. Anyway, we should probably get going. Have a good day, then. You too. It's never a good day for me. And here we are again. Indeed. Did you want to clean out my bathroom cabinet as well or something? That's a good one. <laughs> you gave a big sigh. <sighs> you know how I feel. I, I guess I just wanted to make the most of this day. Speaking of which, I've never actually seen you without your tie. Well, actually... About now. <laughs> <laughs> That's so forward. Okay. You were pretty cute, you know that? Is that just a term of endearment, or are you actually serious? I am... serious. Why so serious? He looked at me, hesitating. Then he took a step forward, his head slowly moving closer to my own. And then he stabbed me with his horns. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh. Kiss him. Look away. No, kiss him. No, senpai, it's too soon. Kiss him. Kiss him. Yes, senpai, do it. He got this from the PDA. Yeah. He got it from the PDA. <laughs> of course he did. <laughs> kiss That's him. Good. We met, and my arms enveloped his neck as our lips touched. For a few seconds, we were closer than ever before. Jim, the kiss, he used a lot more time than I expected. <laughs> Just after we parted, he finished by giving me a small lick on the cheek. How was that? Uh, unique, that's for sure. They don't even have lips. Maybe I shouldn't wear the tie anymore if this is what happens when I take it off. Actually, I think you should keep it. Really? Yeah, it looks good on you. Well, if you say so. Anyway, it's getting really late, so I should probably get going now. Don't forget about the fireworks. Oh, for sure. I'll see you then. Until we meet again. Thank you for everything. We're gonna have to stop. Yeah. Well, I'm afraid you will have to wait for us to get Remy's Ending. endings. So... We have run out of time. Yes, alas. But, alas! But we shall try to make our best efforts to yep. finish. We will. It depends on what we can schedule and shit. Yeah. But for now, we must say our farewells. Fare thee well. So... Ta-ta! Ta-ta!